The Arctic Tundra by Jennifer Badina 9b. The Arctic Tundra is found in the northern parts of the continents of Europe, Asia and North America. The Arctic Tundra is a very harsh and cold biome. For this reason, only the toughest animals and plants can survive. One of the main characteristics of the Arctic Tundra is permafrost. Permafrost means frozen ground and refers to any ground deeper than two feet being completely frozen. Because of the permafrost in the Arctic Tundra, it is extremely challenging to build anything here. This is one reason that not many people inhabit the Arctic Tundra. The permafrost also means that many plants cannot grow their roots, roots very deep into the ground, resulting in only very small, low-level plants. This means that most Arctic Tundra landscapes have no trees, making the Arctic Tundra a barren landscape. The Arctic Tundra only has two seasons, winter and summer. Winter in the Arctic Tundra is around eight months in length. Furthermore, as the Arctic Tundra is located very close to the North Pole, nights can be extremely long, with nightly darkness during the middle of winter lasting up to weeks. The Arctic Tundra has an average temperature of negative 34 degrees, but can reach as low as negative 45 degrees during the winter. This, along with the harsh wind, makes the tundra the coldest, driest biome on Earth. Summers in the Arctic Tundra are the only reason that plants are able to survive there. Summers last around 50 to 60 days in, and temperatures average between 3 and 12 degrees Celsius. As opposed to the long nights in winter, in summer, days in the Arctic Tundra are also extremely long, with light sometimes lasting for 24 hours. Without the summer, plants and animals in the Arctic Tundra would most definitely die. The most common plants in the Arctic Tundra are plants that have their roots very close to the ground level, or roots that sprawl across the ground. Lichen is the perfect plant for the tundra, as it's able to grow on rocks and other places without very much healthy soil, and can withstand freezing temperatures and no water for long periods of time. Lichen is a blend between algae and fungus, which together in a symbiotic relationship have their own jobs in order to stay alive. The algae is responsible for the photosynthesis and the fungus holds water in the plant in order to survive in the dry climate. Most of the 400 types of flowers in the tundra are perennials. They survive in the tundra by making the most of the short summers. They bloom quickly at the start of summer, grow and make the most of the little sunshine and heat before coming dormant again for the winter. Many small plants in the tundra will grow in groups. What looks like one big plant may be hundreds of tiny little plants bunched up together to try and avoid the cold wind. This is an effective adaptation many plants have to help them survive. There are approximately 50 species of animal that primarily live in the Arctic tundra. During the summer, there are many more animals in the Arctic tundra. This is because during the winter, that these animals migrate south in an attempt to avoid the harsh conditions. Only a few animals, such as the mask oxen, lemmings and the arctic fox have adapted to be able to survive the winters. Some adaptations of animals who live in the arctic tundra include being large and able to retain energy. This is so the animals are able to survive the long winters with the energy they have retained during the summer. This includes storing fat in the body to keep warm. Extra layers of fur to help the animals stay warm in winter and keep them alive. Large, strong paws to help the animals make their way through the rocky, snowy terrain small ears and tails so that less blood is needed to circulate the whole body and less heat is lost. Very few humans have adapted to the harsh environment and chosen to live in the Arctic tundra because of the permafrost and harsh conditions. The largest settlements are located in Alaska and parts of Canada. However, there are many tiny villages in the north of Russia which are classified as the Arctic tundra. Some of these villages are so remote and are in areas that are near impossible to get to, meaning that the people living there may be completely cut off from the rest of the world. Overall, living in the Arctic tundra would be near impossible. Although the Arctic tundra is one of the coldest biomes, it's not exempt from global warming. In fact, climate change poses the biggest threat to the Arctic tundra biome it has ever faced. Because of all the ground in the Arctic tundra biome is made of ice, temperature increases can cause devastating erosion. Furthermore, when the ground and frozen water bodies melt, this causes an increase of water levels all over the world. The only way to save the Arctic tundra and stop the erosion of water levels rising is for humans to decrease the carbon dioxide emissions produced all over the world.